Right, what are we protecting it from? A jewel! Yeah. 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 My name is Karen Galuardo and this will be this is my third year teaching um, kindergarten at King Kamehameha Third Elementary School and I also went to that elementary school when I was younger and so it was unfortunate that we lost our school to the Lahaina wildfire so it was kind of shocking to know that the whole town was gone and kind of hoping for news and what what to do next and worried about you know where are the kids and what you know where we're we gonna have our school next um, and then so two months after the wildfire August 8th, um, we transitioned to our new temporary site, which is at Princess Nahiana Anna Elementary School. Bags. Did anybody think they were going to get suitcases when he said bags? No. Did you think he was going to get like bag bags? No. Before the fire, I did teach first grade. Uh, after the devastation and the loss of some of our student population due to moving and relocation, I became a kindergarten teacher. And I was very fortunate enough to work with another teacher. I was able to co-teach here at Princess Campus. It's been a great experience working with somebody else with our uh, limited enrollment. Um, the kids have definitely benefited from having two teachers in the classroom, uh, which has made it more fun and more engaging. You know, helping catch up, especially after losing 11 weeks of learning in the beginning of the school year. It was a great opportunity for us to work together to really kind of pick them up and lift them up, and try to help them get back to where they need to be for the next year. So we were expecting, um, you know, we, we were, everybody's in all their emotions and for us too as teachers and staff, we, we were kind of like uh, worried about how the kids would react when coming back. Um, a lot of them, you know, were, able, were excited because they saw familiar faces they would see in the community. Some kids were also kind of scared and, you know, it's a very traumatic um, event that happened and so there are some things that trigger them. Um, but, you know, we wanted to make our school and our campus and our classroom a safe space for them to come back to and look forward to after the wildfire that happened. And now we got news that uh, a new temporary site is, is built, was being built. Um, that was also something else that we were looking forward to as a school. Um, for me personally, I am excited. It's kind of bittersweet. Um, it's something that I can, you know, start all over again because as a teacher for three years um, I'm able to kind of maneuver and make the classroom how I want it to be uh, but it's also kind of sad and something else that we have to leave behind and um, the relationships that they made and so yeah It was a lot of emotions. I mean, it's brand new facilities and something to, it's again, something to look forward to. Um, and then we could actually just start from scratch. Um, that's my main idea and what, how I feel about it. Like I know that um, for me, like I can start all over and I can recreate and rebuild my classroom on how I want it to be. But overall, I think we're, you know, we're all kind of just ready like we're not ready but we're just moving and taking little steps to something something you know it's an amazing feat that something like that has been done in such a short amount of time you know in this world, a lot of people expect, they all, we all have our sets of expectations, and I'm thankful for what was done in that amount of time for us. Sure, is it perfect? Nothing's perfect. But are we happy? I'm happy that there is something for us, and it's a permanent sense of permanency until we do have a new permanent school. It's, it's something we have, some, we, we have a place now for three, four, five years, that we don't have to move back and forth. You know, this is now our fourth classroom we're teaching in this year. It's, it's been a lot. It'll be nice just to be in one place for more than a year with these kids and you know, just have some place that you can make your own. You know, that's what classrooms are all about. They're a reflection of the teacher that teaches the students in that room. And that, that classroom is a representation of your personality, your enthusiasm, your whole teaching ideology is part of your classroom. And, you know, and having this space has been great, but we haven't been able to make it our own. And now we're going to have that chance to really 
show the students more about who we are and, and really make it more, more of an ohana. This week we moved to our new campus and it's been kind of overwhelming uh, with getting to know new routines and transitions um, but you know I'm excited and I think the kids were excited to see each other and they're excited to have a classroom and um, to just be able to call their, their, it their own. Um, they, they were excited the first day to come in they're like oh another classroom and they were able to kind of see things that were familiar from Princess Nahia Naena. Um, and just something that they can just be comfortable in and safe and feel, um, you know, excited to come to school. How would you like your morning greeting today, John Michael? Hug? Don't forget to move your magnet. Move. Would you like a hug? A high five? High five. It's the beginning. Um, you know, that's the greatest thing is having our school now. We are the new, this is the beginning of the rebuilding of Lahaina. This is our first step, getting this school, having some kind of normalcy for the families and the children again. You know, sorry, it kind of makes me a little emotional, but it's important, you know, to have that. Um, and having this is, it's, it's, it shows us that we have something to look forward to, that this is the beginning, this is the seed that's gonna branch out and grow. And, you know, they're, they're clearing the town, their debris is getting removed. And, you know, within a year, we're gonna start seeing new construction. We're gonna see hope and rejuvenation. And this is where it starts right here.